first one is for cause, the second one is for effect. Remember that cause and effect, they go together. Life takes you down many paths and that's when you realize what you were meant to do. We're gonna talk about cause and effect and I'm gonna go ahead and read this story to you. We're going to make several stops along the way. We're going, and I'm gonna be asking you questions on cause and effect. I love being around them. Teaching is a lot of hard work, but it's so much fun being around the kids. You know, you get to teach them, but at the same time, you can be silly with them and, and just to watch them every day, walking into the room, you know, laughing and, you know, interacting. I, I just love being around them. I started off teaching kinders, so I've seen them. I've seen them grow because some of them are, they're already at middle school, so I've seen them grow, so I see how they change. And, I see how they were once shy at the beginning. Even here, within one year, you can see the change, how they were so shy at the beginning, and then all of a sudden, they're filled with so much self-confidence. They're willing to answer questions. They're, they're willing to participate in class discussions. So you, you see that growth, and that is what, what I enjoy. It's Karen, being able to see them grow, grow as a student, grow as an individual, and I love to see where they've learned from the things that I've taught them. And I'm just so happy to see that I was part of that. I was part of that change. The effect is what, Kaylin? The result. Roberto, do you know what question it will be asking? What happened? Very, very good. Are you guys ready? Yes. Right. We have the ability to change a person's life and we can change it for the better. And so we need to be careful because this is a young, person, a young mind, so we need to think about how we want them to succeed. Butterflies taste better with a little barbecue sauce. I am an example. If I want them to be lifelong learners and I want them to always be learning, then I need to set that example and I also need, I need to practice what I preach. I teach reading, so I need to, you know, make sure that I'm reading as well. Grandparents day at school. So I brought Brown. I want them to, to never stop learning. I tell them, learning doesn't stop the minute you walk out of my room. You walk out there, you're learning every day. You know, I want you to keep on learning. Education is very important. I tell them, you need your education. That's going to help you succeed, succeed in life. And I tell them, never stop learning.